I got um, one note from, uh, you've probably seen Amelia's outtakes, Anna Rita, um, yes. her outtake videos. I got one note from Emma who plays Minthara uh, and she was just like, uh, thanks for all the drow words. They're really good fun to say. And I was like, that's sarcastic, isn't it? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They're really hard to say. <laughs> she nailed them, but my God. <laughs> I love that. But I was wondering if like, maybe you had like a specific favorite or if there's like a favorite maybe quest line or just like a specific like quotable line of dialogue that you really love. Uh, so, oh man, I... The stuff I want to say, okay, fine. I can say stuff that's from deeper. <laughs> uh, it's fine. Block your ears if you don't want to hear. They're not story spoilers. Um, so uh, I actually write less dialogue than you might think. Uh, my my job is mostly to edit everyone else's work. Uh, so I know other people's lines better than my own because those ones I kind of write them and they say, somebody else can deal with that now. Uh, whereas <laughs> everyone else's lines, I'm like, you know, okay, how do we make this as brilliant as it can be? Uh, but uh, I spent a lot of time on Mithara. Uh, and we knew from the beginning Minthara is a character that most people will kill. Uh, she's a villain, you meet her, you can recruit her, uh, but most people kill her. We know that from the stats, and we knew that putting the effort into writing lots and lots of dialogue for this character was going to be appreciated by very few people, but we're like, hell, it's good. I nearly swore. don't know if I'm allowed to swear. Um, <laughs> yeah, you're good, you're good. <laughs> um, and... Uh, I put in one line, which I, I don't know how many people will ever see it, and I'm going to just say it now. Um, where uh, So Minthara's story, she's been infected with Tadpole. She's working for the cult. Uh, and uh, when you recruit her, essentially she comes under your protection and she can no longer hear the voice of God of the Absolute. And, uh, and you deprogram her. Uh, and she doesn't become a nice person. She's just like, okay, let's let's do evil for ourselves now. Let's not do it for anyone else. Uh, <laughs> let's take control. And uh, and there's a moment in uh, when she gets very close to you. She does um, where she says, um, if you, she's she gets she has a crisis of confidence, and she says, uh, I don't know if I can do this. And and you can say, look, you're stronger than anyone I've ever met. And she says, if I'd never met you, then I would have been just then I would have still been a, a maniac uh, doing things at the will of a God that doesn't exist. And you can say, but you did meet me. And she says, yeah. And nine times out of 10, I would have done one more corpse in your crusade. And it's a little sad moment, but it's also a little tap on the fourth wall that says, yes, in all your other playthroughs, you pieces of crap. Now she's a horrible <laughs> yeah. person. It shouldn't be safe. But, uh, but like <laughs> it, <laughs> the ones that I love are the moments where we like, we're writing this for a very small audience. Mm -hmm. Um, and when they get to it, they're going to get something special. And that, and that stuff I love. I love our villains as well. Um, as a Dark Urge monk, are you going to recruit Minthara on that play? Yeah, I have her already. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. all right, all yeah. right. <laughs> yeah. I, I usually take her along just because uh, <laughs> I spent so much time with her. Yeah, Aww. definitely.